Yo, welcome back to the channel, man. It's a whole new year, it's 2022, and a lot of people are trying to either upgrade their style, they are trying to start their styling journey, or they just simply have no idea where to look when it comes to finding a style. So, since we are starting off on a new year, I wanna help you find your style in 2022. With that being said, we're about to just jump right into this. Let's get to it. What's good, YouTube family? It's your homeboy, Camcorder Banks. Welcome to my channel, Kulu with Camcorder. This is where you get content focused on streetwear, sneaker content, and menswear fashion. Now, if this is something that you're interested in, I want you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button, notification bell, hit that like button, and drop a comment down below. Now, like I said, it is a new year. It's 2022. Now, before we even jump into this, I want to give everybody a huge shout out because this time last year in 2021, just beginning off the year, I had a little over 1,000 subscribers and ending off the year in 2021, I end up getting over 6,000 subscribers. So all you subscribers that's out there, people that have been hitting that like button, showing me love, dropping comments and everything, and all my people who are really rocking with me, I wanna say thank you so much to getting me to this point. And now that we are in 2022, we are on the road to 10,000 subscribers. We are gonna make sure that we grow this channel as big as we possibly can. And I wanna say thank you again. So with that being said, let's just jump right back into this, man. Let's get right back into the mix, all right? All right, now, first thing first, I want everybody to know that before you even get into fashion and style and everything, it's easier than you think it is. It's not as difficult. The thing is, is that this is not a sprint. This is more of a marathon. It takes time to find yourself. So you're not gonna find it the fastest way. Those are more trending type of things when it comes to being more fashion forward in a heartbeat. But to find your style, it takes time. You have to recreate yourself and find what's good to you. It takes trial and error. And the better you get at that trial and error, the more you grow and the more that you master your style. So like I said, this is not a sprint, it's a marathon. So let's just start off with finding your budget. All right, now knowing your budget is very important when it comes to your style. You don't have to pick the most expensive pieces in order for you to have the most fashionable pieces. In this day and age, there's a lot of people stuck in a zone of, if I'm buying the most expensive pieces, then I'm the most fashionable, when that is not true at all. You could find some thrifted pieces that's like five, $10, and you could be more stylish based on you mastering your craft in style. So your budget is pretty simple. It's the money that you have left over after you are done with your priorities. So all your bills, everything that's really important that you have to pay for, anything that you have left over for after you're done with your own entertainment, your food, your bills and everything like that. Knowing that budget is really important because you know where to shop at. You start to find out where it's better for you to shop. Now, if you're trying to find an outfit, that's great. But at the same time, I want you to keep in mind, finding your style is not just finding an outfit. Finding your style is something that you're going to continue to use when you build your wardrobe. So knowing your budget is really important. Drop a comment down below if you really want to find out more about different stores that you could shop at. I want you to drop those comments down below and make sure that you hit that thumbs up at the same time. Now when you do find your budget, that's when you start to find out different stores that fit in your area of your budget. So if you have a more affordable budget, then shop in those affordable shops. So if you have more money, then that just gives you more of a opportunity to find different stores, whether it's a high or affordable pricing for the clothes that you're looking for. But again, I want you to find your budget. All right, now next up is finding your essentials. While you are on the journey to finding your style alone, it's best for you to find those essential pieces. What I mean about essential pieces are pieces that you can wear over and over again and you can mix and match them without looking like you're wearing the same clothes over and over again. So find those navy pants, gray pants, gray chinos, black jeans, black jackets, white shirts, gray shirts, blue, dark royal, and green and olive colors. Find those neutral color pieces, something that doesn't have crazy patterns or crazy designs, find your jeans, find your pants, those things that you can mix and match until you grab those pieces that you want to grab, those high end or those crazy colors or crazy patterns or crazy stitches. When you start to find your style, 
it'll be good for you to have those essential pieces to connect with those clothing that you buy. This helps you save money and it helps add to your wardrobe. It gives you a broader opportunity to mix and match with your clothes while you continue to build your wardrobe. Places that I like to go is like places like Zara, Uniqlo, or I like to even go to H&M. I haven't been to H&M in a while, but still, you can shop at places like this until you find those other stores that actually hit on the styles that you actually are growing into wearing. Now, next up is finding your inspiration. This is very, very important because a lot of people have no idea what type of styles there is, but there is a wide variety of clothes and styles that you could dress in when it comes to finding your style. Now, finding your inspiration is pretty easy. You could find it on, you guessed it, social media. This is your IG and Pinterest. These are two of the most popular when it comes to finding your inspiration because you could find different people. All you have to do is type in things like, fashion, high-end fashion, streetwear, casual, minimalist style. You can type in small keywords like that, especially when it comes to Instagram and Pinterest. Typing in keywords like that will help you find the style that you're looking for. From there, you kind of go into this rabbit hole because you start to find different keywords and things that start to grab your attention. From there, you get to master your craft in mixing up those styles. Now, one of my favorite things to do is to go on Pinterest. Instagram is more so found by fashionists and things like that. That's great to find people that's into their own style, their own fashion and things like that. But when it comes to Pinterest, I think Pinterest hits more on the head of when you're trying to find a specific thing. For example, if you're looking in menswear fashion, you could type in the keyword menswear fashion and they will come up with multiple results of menswear fashion. So Pinterest is my favorite, but even with Pinterest being my favorite, I still go back to Instagram because I think that's where you start to see more of the lifestyle fun fashion that stands out a little bit more than just your casual style. So again, when it comes to finding your inspiration, I think that it's very important for you to look on social media. And again, your best bet is always gonna be going with Instagram or going with Pinterest. Next up is being different. Now, what I mean by that is I don't want you to always go for the trendy pieces and I don't want you to always go for those high-end designer pieces because a lot of people that's wearing trendy pieces and high-end pieces, you end up looking just like everybody else. That's not finding your style. When you're finding your style, it means something that you like and something that you strictly stick to that presents who you are as an individual. Now, yes, it is fun to be in trend and it is fun to find the high-end designer pieces that we all like. But the more that you end up finding those high-end designer pieces and being trendy, you start to look just like everybody else instead of looking like yourself. So you end up losing out on the story of showing who you are as an individual but there's nothing wrong with finding trendy pieces that you like and finding high-end designer pieces that you like. I'm just saying not to stick to that every single piece of clothing that you buy because you're not creating a style for yourself and you're not creating a wave. You actually end up chasing somebody else's trend and you look just like everybody else. Be different. Find different clothing stores, find different boutiques. From there, you end up showing who you are as a stylist or you are in general as your style. You show your presentation, you create a story every day with who you are as an individual instead of creating everybody else's story of wearing the same trendy pieces. And lastly, when it comes to finding your style, the most important thing about this is confidence. Your confidence is gonna be key in this simply because everything that you wear has to be based off of you. Your style is not for everybody else. So whenever you're trying different things, it doesn't matter if people don't like what you wear. If you like what you wear and you have mastered your style of what you like, it doesn't matter. The art of fashion is finding your style. The best part about style is finding yourself and what story you are giving people, what story you are showing people when it comes to you presenting your different style. So it doesn't matter if you are trying something out for the first time. Remember, this is a trial and error situation and this is a marathon. So you're gonna go through times where you don't like things. You're gonna go through times where you feel like it's good, but it's not really what you like. You're gonna find things that you really do like and people think you are way too unique, but it doesn't matter because finding yourself is key and when you find yourself, confidence is gonna be the biggest anchor when it comes to your style. So walk in confidence, walk with your chin up, walk proudly, 
be happy with who you are and love your style. Now, with that being said, I hope that added some key notes to your style, how to upgrade your style or simply find your style in 2022. If you have any questions, drop those questions down below. Don't forget to throw that thumbs up in there as well. And if you want to learn some more inspirational things, look down in that description box. You will also see different stores that you could look at, places that you could find based off of your budget and more. Just look down below and find that list of things that I have listed down below for you. Now, with that being said, happy, happy new year. Welcome to 2022. Thank you to my subscribers who still rocking and rolling with me. We're about to grow this channel and I have some great ideas that's coming for this channel as well. And I can't wait for you all to join me on this ride. So with that being said, I'm finna get up out of here. I'll catch up with y'all on that next video. I'm your homeboy, Cam Quarterbanks. I'm out. I'm gone. I'll holler at y'all, all right? Peace.